Um, I wanted to switch gears a little bit. Tom Mabe was our guest last week. We've yes, a lot, he was. a lot of requests for this. He has a little stunt that he does. He leaves a tape recorder by his phone, and when the phone rings, he hits the button. And if it's a telemarketer, he records the call. Puts him on a little bit. And I'll, I thought we'd give this one a listen. Hello? Yes, can I speak with Tom Mabe? Who's calling? Well, this is Mike with You've been selected to receive a complete digital satellite system for free. With this, you're going to... Oh, let, let me ask you something. Did, did you know Tom Mabe? Were you a friend of his? No, I'm not. I'm just calling to... Uh, hold, 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 hold that thought. Hold on one second, all right? Hey, guys, get really good pictures of the body. Yeah, and dust everything down for print. <laughs> Thank you there. Yeah. Uh, let me bring you up to speed. You've actually called a murder scene. Uh, Mr. Mabe is no longer with us. I'm Officer Clark. I'm, I'm conducting a homicide investigation. Uh, I want to ask you a series of questions. Uh, first of all, what was the nature of the business you had with uh, Tom Mabe? Well, I, I, I had no business with him. I'm, uh, I'm sorry to bother. No, no, hey, hold on. Look, I want to ask you to stay on the phone. This call's already been traced, and we may need you to come in for further questioning. Just, uh, <laughs> Unless you want to be charged with obstruction of justice, it's imperative you keep your ass on the phone, Mike. <laughs> well, how about you just talk with my supervisor then? No, 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 look, 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 we'll get your supervisor in a second here. First of all, get, give me your whereabouts. I'm at work. You're at work? Yes. You being a smart ass? No, sir. Let me put it to you this way, Mike. Say, say I wanted to mail your ass a letter. <laughs> what would I have to write on the outside of the envelope to assure the mailman would deliver it right to your ass? Geographically speaking, Mike, where is work? 40 West <laughs> Littleton, Colorado. Uh-huh. Uh, now, hold on. That's four, four. Yes, sir. Uh, Mike, hold, hold on one second, all right? Yeah, there's a... Get, get the Little Police Department Homicide Division on the phone. Tell him he's being a sock connection with a fatal shooting, an aggravated robbery. <laughs> but, 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 how did you know Mr. Mabe again? Well, wait, you're, you're calling the Littleton Police Department? I'm hundreds of miles away. I, I don't even know the guy. I'm, I'm in Colorado. No, don't, don't, don't let that scare you. That's just a formality. I mean, have you ever been to his place of residence? No. Right, tell, tell me again, where were you last night between the hours of 8 and 10? I'm not feeling real comfortable. Anything. <laughs> have you even ever spoken with Mr. Mabe, Mike? No, I haven't. I don't even know the guy. I just, that's what I've been trying to tell Okay, you. okay. Calm down. Calm down. Hold on. Look, just back up. I got one more question for you, Mike. As you well know, I'm sure, Mr. Mabe was a flaming homosexual. There's no easy way of asking that. I don't want to embarrass you or nothing, but were you his gay lover? What? No. What?